Hi, this is Gina Crochet Gal. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how I made this envelope book. It's a very simple process, and um, yes, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. It has six envelopes in it, and I'm just going to show you how it's put together. Now, there's various ways on doing it, but this is the way that's easiest for me. Okay, like I said, I had six envelopes, so I got two here, and you open up the flaps, and then you insert it into the first one. Okay, you're going to do that for all three sections. Okay, this one's like that, and then this one's like that as well. Okay, so the next step you turn this page and you're going to have this flap here and what I did is I got the first side on the second group and I glued actually the second side I should say I glued this side here to this one okay so that would be glued down like so so, so far you have, which it came out, so let me go back and put this in, okay, so that's your first set of two envelopes, and then your second set, this one gets, this one's not cooperating, <laughs> always on film, right? So then you get the second set and this side is going to get glued down to this flap here okay so that's one alright so that's the second group and then again on this side you're going to see two flaps you can glue these together if you'd like you're going to get the third group the third and final because I only had six and again the second side, this side here, is going to be glued down like so. Okay, so you'll have it like that. All right, and again, you're going to have these flaps. You can continue if you want to make them um, bigger, but I just chose to make a small book. And then you can go ahead and glue all that together. So when you turn it around and you open it, you have a pocket here. This one, if you like, you can actually glue these two sides together, just you know, um, a, a quarter inch or so, and then make a pocket here. But I didn't do all that. I just wanted uh, pages for for pictures. And this way, and this one has your slots. You turn it, and then you've got your whole pages. And then the last one, you've got your pockets. And here's the back. And like I said, either you can cut them off or glue them all together, whatever you want to do. So that's it. In the next segment, I will show you how to decorate it. Okay, here is just the covered book. And the size of the mats that I cut were four and a half by six and a quarter and it fits just fine. That's if you want a lip around um, showing. So I covered each one of them and this is what it looks like. And I punched a little tiny little um, section here just to let you know that this is where the pocket's at. I'm just going to leave mine a full mat because I want to put a full uh, four by six picture there. So I'm not going to put um, punch out a little hole here on either side so that you know to stick something in there or tag in there. Okay, so that is the first section and I didn't glue it down very good but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like after it's put together and I cut some wrong measurements so I just added a strip there. And all those little imperfections can be um, covered up. So that's what it looks like. This is a really quick and easy way to make a little book. 
And then for the binding, I just got a two inch strip by um, six and a quarter. And then I scored it in the center. And then I will glue it on like so. Okay, so that is it. If you have any further questions, please go ahead and comment below. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye. One more thing. I do want to mention that in the first clip, I, I did mention um, that you can cut off the flap that was showing there. If you do decide to cut it off, make sure that you have the inner section glued very well because I made a mistake and I cut mine and it lifted up. But that's okay, that was an easy fix. All you had to do is go back in and glue them down, but still. Just a, a side note that if you do end up cutting the flaps, you can either glue it all the way down or cut it and then glue it. Just make sure that you have a lot of glue before you go ahead and cut it off. Well, that is it. Again, thank you very much for watching, and we'll talk to you again.